you're from the Eastern Caribbean, you probably like to brag about your slice of paradise. The beat of the tropical music, the cool sea breeze, the colorful coral reefs. You may not know it, but much of what we love about the Caribbean depends on the health of those coral reefs. Reefs are home to over 25% of all marine species, providing food and shelter for smaller fish. And reefs provide an estimated US $5 billion to the Caribbean each year, through fisheries, tourism, and by protecting us from strong waves. So it's no secret that we have some of the best reefs, but how can we prove it? It's hard to keep track of the health of our reefs, especially now that they are threatened by overfishing, climate change, and pollution. Which is why the Nature Conservancy combined over 275 surveys to create the first set of Eastern Caribbean Coral Reef Report Cards. The report cards give each country a clear update using statistics like coral area, algae coverage, and the quantity of certain fish. They generate scores that tell us how we're doing, where we need more research, and how we can improve our marine environment. So, how do we measure up? Well, the reefs within our region's 44 plus protected areas are home to more fish than the reefs in our unprotected areas. And endangered elkhorn and staghorn coral species are regrowing in many places. But many of our reefs are suffering from pollution and changes in the ocean's temperature and acidity. The good news is, you can play a part in getting our scores up. You can eat lionfish, which prey on the fish that keep our reefs clean. You can reduce littering and erosion. And you can call on our government for more marine managed areas, including protected zones that give young fish a safe place to grow. To learn more, all of the data, maps, and scores are available online at caribnode.org. So, the next time you visit your beach, hold your chest out and your head high. Enjoy your paradise and bask in the thought that because of your efforts, it survives.